1.2 million firearms have been registered in Ghana since 2016. In Ghana, any individual who is 21 years old or above, mentally sound, physically fit, and of good character, can apply for a firearm for use, for either gaming or to protect him or herself. Here are the steps you can follow to register a firearm in Ghana. Step 1. You must obtain a firearm license. To apply for a firearm license, you will need to visit your local police station with a proof of identification, that's your passport, your national ID, etc. for onward processing and forms filling. Step 2. You must complete a firearm training course which covers safe handling and use of firearms. These courses are offered by the Ghana Police Service or any recognized firearm training organization. Step 3. Submit the required documents to the Ghana Police Service, i.e. the complete application form, a copy of your proof of identification, a copy of a proof of residence, a certificate of completion from the firearms training course. After submitting all the required documents, you will need to pay the approved fees. Application forms is 500 cities, vetting form is 100 cities, and approval form is 200 cities, totaling 800 Ghana CD at the time of making this video. Step 4. You wait for approval. After you have submitted the required document and paid the required fees, the Ghana Police Service will review your application. If your application is approved, you would receive a confirmation of registration and a license. It's important to note, the Ghana Police Service do not register firearms in the name of a company or corporate organization since these organizations are artificial persons that cannot go through the laid down processes somebody must represent these organizations in order to acquire the license a licensed firearm is to be used exclusively by the individual in whose name it has been licensed and registered and must be used for the purpose assigned for its acquisition only also know that possessing a firearm without a valid license is illegal in Ghana and you may face criminal charges if found culpable. You can find out more from the Arms and Ammunition Decree NRCD9 of 1972 Section 3, Subsection 1A, B2 and 3. As always, my name is Emmanuel. I will see you in the next one.